this week a flattened pivot table for reuse. All right, 564 rows of data today, region, product, date, customer, quantity, revenue, cost of goods, sold, and profit. I just need a really small data set that totals up revenue by region and product. Uh, we can do this with a pivot table. Insert pivot table, click OK. Uh, in our pivot table fields, we're going to put region and product down the left hand side and then in the uh, put revenue there in the values field. Uh, but they give us this, uh, I'm sorry, I was about to say stupid, but I don't want to say stupid on tape. <laughs> okay, we come back here to the design tab, uh, report layout and say show in tabular form. That gets things into two columns like they belong. The compact layout is the evil thing that puts it all in one column. Believe me, every year I'm out at Microsoft and I beg them to give us a checkbox to make tabular form be the default. But we, now we still have these blanks. Report layout, repeat all item labels, gets those blanks filled in. And now I need to get rid of the subtotals. So on the region field, uh, the first tab, it's analyzed in 2013 or options in 2013. Field settings, say no subtotals, click OK. And then last but not least on the design tab, grand totals. Uh, off for rows and columns. All right, so now we just have region, product, and revenue, and we're good to go. Well, I'm already over the time for today, but let me show you the other way to go. Uh, we'll go back to Power Pivot. We're going to add this to the data model. My table has headers. Click OK. And in Power Pivot, they already have something called a flattened pivot table. It already uh, does the, the right layout. It already does the uh, no totals and so on. So we'll put region and product down the left hand side. And then revenue. All right, uh, it still gave us central totals. That's kind of bad. Uh, easy enough to fix though with analyze field settings and none. Click OK. There you go. Uh, it's a little bit faster using Power Pivot. If people think Power Pivot is this big, you know, for massive millions of rows of data. Every once in a while, Power Pivot just does something better than regular pivot tables.